so when one of those horses or burrow dies out here in the desert, this is what happens. Yep. Still see some of the hair on, on, on the legs there and on the back. But yeah, sad. Good size hooves too. But yeah, they just they perish out here, they just fall over and die. Kind of a unforgiving landscape out here. So here's one of the old buildings here at Delamar. What's left of it? So I think this was the doorway into this building. And then uh, now there's a, a shrub growing up inside of it. You can see how they had plaster on the inside of the walls right there. They plastered the interior walls. Most of it's fallen away, it looks like. And more structures higher up on the hill as well as some waste rock piles. So this looks like it had multiple stories. You can see on the wall there where they would have had the floorboards coming across. But yeah, looks like down there might be an old stove, maybe. So here's looking around the back side. It's amazing that's still standing. That, that wall is from the 1890s. It's over 100 years old and it's still standing. It looks like it might be leaning a little bit. Someone had a campfire right here. So here's another building at Delamar, probably a house. There were probably houses all through here, like all these little indentations in the ground. Probably where a house once sat, but a lot of them have been torn down. But some like this one are still, uh, still partially standing. Okay, this bottle fragment is kind of old because of how thick the glass is. Um, and there are some markings on the bottom. There's a website that I know of that you can go to and punch in the markings. So I'll check that out and see who made this bottle and when. It's probably not that old, but um, it looks like there's a an A and then uh, C2 on the bottom. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a picture of this and, and um, look it up online, but it was just sitting up here on this uh, foundation of this house. There's a pretty good window left in that wall. That's a Y-shaped piece of metal tubing. See that? So here is the old cemetery at Delamar here in Nevada, and, uh, and the cemetery was here. Some people have left some coins on this uh, gravestone. A nickel and some pennies. Can't read the name on that anymore though. Yeah, some of these stones are really uh, worn away and uh, probably date back to the 1800s. Like this one over here. See, so check that out. Really nothing left. Left on that one. This one, um, that's Etta Frank, uh, 
1873 to 1896. That girl died when she was what? 23 years old. Wow. And there's more, more graves out there in the distance. So every town had its can dump, and this looks like the can dump for Delamar. A lot of cans in this area. Here are some old barrels, what look like metal barrels, yeah, old metal barrels that were kind of put together to make like a bridge here. Maybe the original road went across this, but then they put another road in later on right back there, but this was probably a little bridge, I bet. Don't know why else all these barrels would be here like that. And it looks like the main mill is up that way. That's a massive foundation for the mill. And then behind it, you see some of the tailings, waste rock. Going all the way back there. Don't know what these are. Something used in the processing of the ore, that's for sure, but big metal tanks. So we noticed these things were made with ore cart tracks. See that? So these were probably assembled here on site, and because they used ore cart rail like that, they're probably homemade. And there's a bunch of these here. You don't know what they were used for. But definitely homemade and probably made here on site. Here's an archway. It looks like it got bricked over, but somebody must have thought there was a secret passage behind here because they busted it open. But it doesn't go anywhere. So, I wonder why they put that there, an arch, if it didn't go anywhere. But you can see it coming down there on the right. And that's looking back at the mill foundation.